Now, before we dive into this video, I wanna let you know our annual Black Friday sale for BPN is coming up. It launches November 24th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and it ends November 27th at 11.59 p.m. Central Standard Time. 20% off the entire website. So if you've never tried BPN products before, this is a great time to try. And if you are a big fan of the brand, this is a great opportunity to stock up. You can try our endurance, wellness, and performance supplements. Thanks guys, appreciate all the support. Black Friday is upon us. Now let's get into the video. You did it. One mission, one channel, and one more thing. One million subscribers. Congratulations. The one million subscriber YouTube play button just arrived. And I wanna thank you guys. I wanna thank you guys for helping us achieve this from a, a journey and a goal and a mission that started over 10 years ago in my small college apartment. Thank you for believing in all of the content we've been producing and working on over the course of time. This is beautiful. It's gonna look really good in this Nashville BPN office. The play button right in front of our conference room, which I owe you guys a tour of the office because we've done a lot. It's all done. We're now working on the gym, which is below us. And right next to it, I wanna show you guys these, our design team, the BPN design team, Cade, A-Rod, and Ethan designed these skateboard decks to be hung on the wall in front of this beautiful live plant. This one was done by Cade, this one was done by Ethan, and this one was done by A-Rod, and they turned out so sick. These guys crushed it. So it's Friday night, and tomorrow is a 22-mile workout. It's the last big workout of this marathon prep. Now, I was on dad duty tonight. Steph is out with some friends. I just put Charlie down, and now I'm gonna start prepping for tomorrow's run. I want to talk to you about how I program my workouts, usually my speed workouts that I do on Wednesdays, or my big marathon paced workouts in my Garmin app, and then sync them to my watch, so that my watch literally just walks me through the workout. You don't have to remember paces, you don't have to remember rest periods or anything. You can structure the workout in your Garmin app, sync it to your watch, and then it just walks you through everything. So you go into your Garmin Connect app, you click more, and then you go to training and planning, workouts, create a workout, in this case, run, and then you can input the workout that you'll be doing. So tomorrow's workout, I have a four mile easy warm up, and then it's two sets of the following. Each set is four miles at a 6.05 to 6.10 minute per mile pace, a half mile recovery, two miles at a six minute per mile pace, half mile recovery, one mile at a 5.50 minute per mile pace. Like I said, there's two sets of that. In between those two sets is a one mile recovery. And then at the end, it's a one mile cool down. So it's 22 miles total. That's what I'm doing tomorrow. See you guys in the morning.
So I just got the Shelby Bottoms, which is in East Nashville, and this is where I'm gonna be doing the workout. Now my pre-run nutrition was one big piece of sourdough that Steph made with some jelly on there. I had two scoops of G1M Sport mixed in about 16 to 18 ounces of water. And then during the run itself, I'm going to have three go gels. I'm gonna have a go gel at mile five, 10, and 15. It's a beautiful morning, 43 degrees, great weather for a big effort and training session in the last big workout of this prep. I'll check in with you when I'm done with it. Let's go do it. And just like that, run is complete. 22 miles, two hours, 20 minutes, 21 seconds at a 623 minute per mile pace altogether. Potentially one of the best workouts of my entire life. Let's go over these splits. Now, the first four mile warm up was done at a 712 minute per mile pace. And then that first four mile segment, 549, 555, 551, 553. Half mile recovery. Two mile segment, 542, 550. Half mile recovery. One mile, 534. And then a one mile recovery at a 724 minute per mile pace. My second four mile segment, 549, 551, 548, 546. Recovery, two mile segment, 539, 548. Recovery, one mile, 535. And then that last one mile cooldown, 723. So all of the work was done at sub six minute miles. Almost all of the work was actually done below sub 550 miles. That was wild. That was great. That was a good workout. So we're gonna do about 20 minutes in the Sisu sauna at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I love getting in a sauna, especially after a big workout for activating recovery, relaxation, some decompression, muscles feel a little tight, just loosens them up. And if you get in a sauna and you're not sweating right away, all you gotta do, look at the rocks, put some water on the rocks. It gets significantly hotter and steamier instantly and you will start dripping sweat within a matter of not even minutes but seconds it's amazing those are sweat droplets <laughs> dropping on the lens of the gopro <laughs> a steady stream of sweat oh wow we're dripping now yes now, as I mentioned, this will wrap up the peak of the build. It doesn't mean we're necessarily going into the taper yet. We won't taper until about seven to 10 days out from the race, but training volume and intensity will decrease a little bit. So Jeff just sent over the next week of training, and this will kind of show you some of the changes. Monday, 10 miles easy. Tuesday, 10 miles easy. Wednesday, nine miles easy. Thursday, two mile warm up, And then 12 times one minute fast, two minute easy two mile cooldown, Friday, seven miles easy, Saturday, 16 miles total, nine easy miles first, and then six miles alternating 800 meter segments at a three minute segment and a 330 segment, and then one mile easy, and Sunday is an off day. So intensity, volume decreasing as we get closer in a CIM starting now now one of the most fun parts about building bpn has been watching and experiencing the product offering grow and evolve 
over the years. Because when I started the business in 2012 out of my college apartment, when I was still living in Pennsylvania, we started as a bodybuilding strength athlete brand with our initial products being pre-workout, creatine, branch chain amino acids, and then protein. And a few years later, we started extending into the health and wellness category where we launched Strong Green, Strong Reds, our multivitamin, fish oil. Over these last couple years, we've really broke into the endurance category. And our first endurance product we ever created and launched was G1M Sport, our carbohydrate and electrolyte-based supplement. Since the launch of G1M Sport, we've now extended into offering electrolytes, most recently our launch of the Go Gel, and what we're launching here in the next couple days is the Go Bar. Now the foundation of our endurance line has always been and always will be fuel and hydration support. Supplements built around endurance training should fuel, sustain, and replenish your body for the training sessions and then the next training session. And what makes each one unique and different is really based off of individual preference and delivery mechanism. For example, G1M Sport, you have fuel and hydration in a powder mix. Like this is what I like to use right when I wake up and I don't necessarily wanna eat something all the time, but I know I need a fuel source. G1M Sport is my go-to. The Go Gel, for example, in my opinion, I consider it rolling fuel. This is something that's packaged in a delivery system that is convenient, you can carry on your body, and is easy to use when you're hitting higher intensity workouts or faster paces, like a race, for example. Electrolytes can be used and added to your water source before, during, or after training to support the workout and replenish what was lost during the session. And that brings me to the Go Bar. Why did we create and launch the Go Bar? Again, it is another fuel option, but for some people, myself included sometimes, I like to have a solid in my stomach before I go and train. This is why I often add some sourdough and jelly or honey alongside my G1M Sport in the morning before a big tempo workout, track workout, or you know, like I just did my 22 miler. So if you prefer solids in your stomach, you need food, like solid foods in your body before you go and work out. I know a lot of people are like this. I'm kind of indifferent, but Jordan, for example, Jordan Utter, my creative director, he always has to eat something before he goes and runs and trains. The Go Bar is a lightweight, sweetened bar, 36 grams of carbs per serving per bar, 200 calories, it digests very quickly, really easily, and it's something you can consume right before you go and work out, run, train, or say for example, you're you're on a bike or you're on a trail run, you wanna carry some solids alongside you. The Go Bar was developed and designed just for that. So between G1M Sport, our electrolytes, Go Gel, Go Bar, they are all, like I said, fuel sources and hydration support to help you achieve your greatest endurance goals. I recommend experimenting with the products, find what best fits your wants and needs based off of individual preference, and then try incorporating a combination of a few different products or one alongside another. And that's how I use these supplements right here. I use these to support my fueling and hydration needs for my training based off of distance, duration, and intensity. That is the current BPN endurance offering. G1M Sport, Electrolytes, Go Gel, and now the newest beautiful product, the Go Bar. Thanks guys. Appreciate all your support. Love you, and we'll see you in the next video.